So I've got a job here that I have to do. This was brought to me by a neighbor of mine who's a big farmer. This is the drag link off of the front of his large Ford tractor. And this is extendable in length. This is the part that actually needs to be replaced. It's just the ball joints are bad on this thing on both ends, and those will be replaced. But we need to save this tube. He attempted to buy it. He said he, he just couldn't find it. So he wanted to get this part out. It slides up in this piece of tubing, but he couldn't. He tried several different ways, broke a chain, and uh, yeah, some heating and some beating, and still couldn't get it apart. So he brought it to me to attempt to try to separate these two pieces. Will it come apart? I don't know, but we'll try. Let's see if we can't get this to slide out of this piece of tubing. So this hooks between the two front wheels, and the reason why it's extendable is because you may want to widen the front wheels on your tractor to get in between the rows of whatever crop you've got set, or to widen it to make it more stable on a hillside. And this one is retracted all the way, so it's stuck up in there as far as it can be, which in a way is a good thing, because uh, I've got an idea here on how I'm going to try to get that out of there. So let's see if we can't uh, come up with a way to, uh, to get that out of there. Let me show you what I've got, uh, at least in mind for the first attempt. So because this is a hollow tube and this is a threaded section, he did not try to force this rod that's in this tube out with the threads. So that's what I'm gonna try, even if I have to weld something to this tubing to keep it from spinning. We're gonna see if we can't use these threads to help force and get that other part of the link started moving. I'll put a little blue molly on these threads. That way they slide easy. Maybe give us just a little bit more pushing power. We'll also have to cut a slug because this doesn't screw down in there enough to hit the back end of that piece. We'll go over to the saw and cut a chunk. So I'll put it down in there first. That way this will press on our slug and press on the part that we want to push out. So this is just a piece of three-quarter round. That's how far it goes down until it touches the part, but we still want good thread engagement. So we'll you know, get started with a small chunk. So I'm going to snug down this lock here because this is a split thread. I'm afraid it will strip out if I put a lot of force on it without having some support. Get a hammer and we'll tap on it some, maybe that'll help. I'm hoping this heat will expand this pipe just enough to break that rust bond.
Oh, this thing stuck good. So this is not going to work. I'm just going to end up stripping out this thread and then there'll be no use uh, at all in trying to fix this. So we're going to have to try a different method.
So what I'm thinking is that this with the hole in it can be put over the top here. I can weld around this and then put this in the press and try to push it out. That's the only, that's the only option I have. This is stuck pretty dang good, but you know, this can be cut off afterwards or ground off. Five tons, ten tons, fifteen tons. There's twenty tons. five tons and that broke the welds that's on there shot out of that press so hard it bent that uh, piece of steel there which wouldn't take a whole lot but still it came out of there pretty pretty hot so it it just cut that weld right off now what it should have done probably is roll over the corner on this. Yeah, that's a sharp corner. Probably should have rolled that over and then run a weld bead on there. But what I didn't want to do is have to work extra hard to get this piece off once it did pop apart. So it's kind of one of those uh, thoughts that I didn't want to weld it too heavy. But I did want to weld it heavy enough to where I could press it real good. Bent this, even imprinted the, uh, the plates in there. So that is stuck. So I decided to call it quits on that rusted drag link. Just not worth it. 
you know, the owner showed up, we talked it over the options. We could have split it uh, down the entire length and relieved some of the pressure off of it, put some penetrating oil in it, heat it. There's a million different ways you could try to get that off of there. But after 25 tons of pressure and probably 20 to $25 worth of acetylene, you know, how much is it worth and how much time do you want to invest in something like that? So he decided we put a new end in the one that, or we put the end that screws in new. We replace that and he's going to run that thing because he has hay on the ground. And when you have hay on the ground, you know, you got to get it off before it gets rained on or else, you know, it just, you just lose all that. So it rots. So he decided put it together to where it'll work and then he'll try to invest more time in trying to find a new one because they're out there. He just couldn't find one. So I didn't look personally, but you get the idea. Just not worth investing any more time in and we just called it. So that was just a quick video that I figured I would share with you that probably wouldn't have got seen otherwise you know, with its length and stuff, but quite dramatic how that thing come out of the press. The reason I moved it to the doors is because I knew something like that had the potential of happening and I don't want to break my windows and stuff. You know, you always start at the easiest, what I perceive to be the easiest way, the easiest first attempt to get that thing apart, which was screwing the threaded end into the piece to try to push it out, which didn't work. And we kind of stepped it up a bit by making a custom piece and welding it to it. And obviously uh, the press didn't work either. But And by that time, the part was really... Uh, yeah, not worth it, right? I'm working on somebody else's piece here and they only want to invest so much time in it because it's just financially not worth the effort. Now, had that been mine and I could not get a replacement part right off the bat and I had hay on the ground, I probably would have split it in the K&T mill and then, of course, it would have come out uh, at that point at least a lot easier and uh, probably made, my, made a complete new one from a piece of DOM tubing. That would have probably been what I would have done, but what's well, not my part, so. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my viewers, patrons, and subscribers. Leave down in the comments what you would have done, if anything different, to get that apart. And that's it. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.